Welcome to the BYD Battery Box Premium HVM HVS installation guide video. This video includes the following content. Requirements, installation, wiring connection, commission. All product documents can be downloaded from the BYD Battery Box official website, including data sheets, technical information, service guidelines, and operating manuals, among others. The following tools should be used during installation. Installers must wear safety shoes and insulating gloves to ensure safety. The working temperature must be controlled at negative 10 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius, and humidity should be kept at 5% to 95%. This is a complete HVM system consisting of one BCU and four battery boxes. Unpack the package and take out the modules and accessories carefully. The quick installation guide manual, a pair of hangers, and four M5 screws can be found in the BCU package. Remove the bolts between the BCU and base. Separate the BCU from the base. The base should be placed along the wall with a distance of 12 to 19 millimeters from wall. Put one battery module on the base. The blind mating connectors of the battery module and the base should be on the same side. Repeat this step for installation of additional modules. Install the hangers to the BCU and tighten the M5 screws using a screwdriver. Torque 5.5 newton meters. Put the BCU on the top of the battery modules. Hold the hangers where they intend to be mounted on the wall and mark the position of the drill holes. Take the BCU from the battery system and drill the marked holes. Insert screws and anchors into the drill holes if the support system requires them. Put the BCU back to the top of the battery system. Tighten the screws between each of the modules. Torque, 2 newton meters. Secure the hanger using screws. Recommended, M8 by 40. Mark the product type on the nameplate. There are five glands on the BCU connection area. Make sure that the air switch is off and unscrew all the bolts on the cover and remove the cover. One, communication ports to inverter. Two, ports for parallel connection. Three, dip switches. Four, ethernet cable for internet. Five, DC cable connection ports. Six, grounding. 7. Safety switch. Fix and tighten the PE conductor. Torque 4 newton meters. Regarding wire diameter requirements, please check your inverter's operating manual. The number of HVS modules connected in series is 2 to 5. The HVM is 3 to 8. 
The module numbers of parallel connection towers must be equal. Up to three towers can be connected in parallel. Different types of modules cannot be installed in one tower or one system. When three towers are connected in parallel, the dip switch for the CAN protocol of the middle, second tower, needs to be turned to the right. 1. Switch on the air switch between the battery and inverter, if any. 2. Open the plastic cover on the right side of the BCU, then push up the air switch. 3. Switch inverter on. The LED will start to flash, half second white, half second blue. Then it turns to flash white once and blue three or 11 times. The blue LED will disappear after working with the inverter. In general, the white LED indicates the system is normal and the blue LED indicates low SOC or malfunction. For more details, please refer to the operating manual. Download B Connect from the Google Play or App Store. The battery system requires the latest firmware version. Please make sure the latest firmware version was correctly downloaded before configuration. Authorize B Connect and choose the language. There are six languages available English, Chinese, German, Spanish, French, and Italian. Read the privacy policy and click the Confirm button to go to the next page. Click the Download Firmware button to download the latest firmware version onto your device. Connect the YLAN of the battery system. Password BYDB-BOX. Please turn off the cellular data and disconnect the Ethernet cable at the router side. This will improve the YLAN connection between the battery system and your device. Back to the Firmware Update page. Click the Update Firmware button to update. If the firmware on your device is lower version than the one in the system, this step cannot move forward. On the Configuration page, click Confirm to set time. Choose an inverter brand. Choose the battery system model, HVM or HVS, according to your battery type. Then set the installed module numbers of each tower. Choose the grid and phase options according to the application. Check the summary of the configuration information, tick the sentence, and click Submit. There will be a prompt, Succeeded, when the configuration is completed. The procedure to switch off the battery system is 1. Switch off the inverter. 2. Switch off the battery. 3. Switch off the air switch between battery and inverter, if any. The correct way to switch off the battery system is to press the LED button until the air switch turns off, about 5 seconds. If two or three battery systems are connected in parallel, turn off the LED button on the master system. The slave systems will be turned off automatically. The following is the contact information of your local BYD official service partner. If you have any questions during or after the installation process, please feel free to contact us for help. Thank you for choosing BYD Battery Box Premium.